It's my life living with HIV. In seeking a sponsor, most members look for someone they feel they can learn to trust, someone who seems compassionate. The idea of sponsorship may be new to us. We have spent many years without direction, relying on a self-interest, suspecting everyone, trusting no one. Now that we're learning to live in recovery, we find we need help. We can't do it alone anymore. We must take the risk of trusting another human being. Often the first person we take that risk with is our sponsor, someone we respect, someone we identify with, someone we have reason to trust. As we open up to our sponsor, a bond develops between us. We disclose our secrets and develop confidence in our sponsor's discretion. We share our concerns and learn to value our sponsor's experience. We share our pain and are met with empathy. We get to know one another, respect one another, love one another. The more we trust our sponsors, the more we learn to trust ourselves. Trust helps us move away from life of fear, confusion, suspicion, and indirection. In the beginning, it feels risky to trust another addict, but that trust is the same principle we apply in our relationship with the higher power. Risky or not, our experience tells us we can't do without it. And the more we take the risk of treating our sponsor, the more open we will feel about our lives. Just for today, I want to grow and change. I will risk trusting my sponsor and find the rewards of sharing. This comes from Just For Today. I'm sitting here waiting on my daughter to get out of school. I've been sitting here for one hour. So yeah, I'm sitting here waiting and um, cause I said, I don't feel like going back home for no 30 minutes. Then got to get up and get back out in the rain. No. So I said, I might as well just come on right now and just sit here and wait. There's school buses all over there. They all down there too. In the rain. So I just came back from an NA meeting and I loved it. I facilitated again for the second time. I'm so proud of myself. Get myself a pack on the back. I'm so proud of myself. Yes. I love going to NA meeting. It is so nice. And this gives me a chance to meet more people and fellowship with them. You know, we all are addicts. You know, we are recovering addicts. An addict is an addict. Whether you've been sober for 25 years, you're still an addict. You're a recovering addict. How about that? Because you can relapse anytime. Anything can trigger you to relapse. So I enjoy it and it gives me something to do. I'm not bored. Because when you're bored, your mind just go wandering. And then all of a sudden, you might want to go back and do what you've been doing in the past. Ain't got time for that. I'm moving forward. Thanks to my Lord and Savior God. So yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing. I love it. 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 So what do y'all do in y'all spare time when y'all don't have nothing to do? And yeah, I say y'all because I'm country. I'm from Georgia. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I enjoy it. And I also share with my daughter the things that I do, you know, at the NA meeting and she asked me yesterday, she said, Mom, so what does it take to to do um, workshop, to facilitate workshop? And I told her, you know, we read from the NA book and we open up with our name and and um, they say, well, I'm a recovering addict, whatever. We was, we say, hey, whoever the name is. And then they get just to talking and we go over the, the, uh, the, tra the 12 traditional steps of NA and yeah, we just do a whole bunch of stuff that they normally do at the NA. 
We have a lot of people come in. We got new people come in. Um, some they share, some share, some don't. But yeah, so I'm enjoying myself. I'm learning more and more. I'm getting my little nervousness out because I'm still learning. There's some stuff I don't remember. So I asked the person sitting next to me, what's the next thing you do? And this person been here for for several years and they know what's the next step. So I'm just, I'm learning and I'm enjoying myself. So, yeah. Well, hello y'all. Uh, she up there doing her little thing. I'm out here walking my dogs and y'all look at the pretty flowers I see. In the midst of all the weeds and stuff. Look at that. Those are gorgeous flowers. All right, y'all, come on, let's go. Walking on your journey. Walking, 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 walking. It's time to walk. Say good morning to y'all family, friends, and fans. Y'all got your little green sweaters on with the little design. All right. Y'all, I'm trying. Olipop. I like it. It tastes good to me. Tropical Punch. And no, this is not sponsored. It's something I like, though. But Olipop, you can sponsor me if you want to. Hey guys, what's up? Um, we wanted to come in and do testing one last time. I'm ready to have unprotected sex with my husband again, and I thought like these results will help with that. Absolutely. Okay, so it's going to be the same procedure as last time. I'm going to ask you the same questions, and I'm going to go ahead and retest you. You cool with that, Charles? You guys are so hysterical. I'm glad that this time we came together on better terms. Oh, it's time to read the test. Charles, you are non-reactive, so you're negative. Cool. John, what's wrong? Yeah, what's wrong, John? Kendra, don't be alarmed. I need to retest you. Why? Your test is positive. What? This can't be. This can't be right. John, we test it. Now! Then please. I don't breathe. We're just gonna leave. Andrew, I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's so cold. No! 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 y'all i'm following um my daughter she's in the ambulance right there my flashlight is on so i don't want to be too bright because she's right there in the ambulance 
Yeah, so I had to um, call 911 for my daughter early this morning, about five something, because she was throwing up a lot. I think she has food poisoning. Um, the paramedics said the same thing. She sounds like she has food poisoning, so I'm just following them now to um, the hospital. And I'll follow up with y'all later. We ask that you add an additional donation to your tithes and offerings, whatever you would like to uh, put on there. Today's sermon posted. Uh, men ministry meet here every third Saturday at 11 a.m. Mount Capital, we're looking, still looking for volunteers um, for, for the food bank. Uh, if you get a chance, um, when it starts back up, they'll be um, every Saturday at 1030. Uh, women ministry meet here every second Saturday at 11 a.m. March 31st, 2024. Amen? Amen. Alright, can we please stand for a reading of the word? We'll be coming from Luke 24, 36. Luke 24, 36. And it reads, Now, as they said these things, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said to them, Peace to you. But they were terrified and frightened and supposed that they had seen the spirit. And he said to them, why are you troubled? And why do you doubt arise in your hearts? Behold, my hands and feet, that is it, I myself, handle me and see. For a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. When he had said these things, he showed them his hands and his feet. But while they were still did not believe for joy and marvel, he said to them, have you have any food here? So they gave him a piece of broiled fish and some honeycomb. And he took and ate it in their presence. And he said to them, these are the words which I have spoken to you while I was still with you, that all these things must be fulfilled, which was written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. And he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. Then he said to them, thus it is written, and thus was necessary for Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead and the third day and that the repentance and remission of the sins should be preached in his name to all the nations beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of all these things. May the Lord of the blessings of readers and doers of his word.
God. Hey, Amen. Hey, somebody put your hand together and give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. You know, every time I think about the goodness of me, amen, all that he had done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Woo, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Because he was, he was, he was in my cabin to be praised. Amen. And he that had brought us and now we are sad. Amen. And he deserves a high praise. Today. So give him another hand clap of praise. And let us be glad. Let us be glad in this day and him today. A whole bunch in front of the car <laughs> that she got him down. <laughs> I grabbed it. Where's my phone? I dropped my phone. 
Oh, it's right, right here. Your phone, right over there. Oh. Well, you can ask Oh, I think. Look where you never looked before. That's a lot of eggs she um hid. Oh my God! You see one? Brianna went over there. Tree. Over here? Under there. Over there. Look, Brianna. You look over there. I don't know. Just look. Keep looking. Keep looking and look. Keep looking. Keep looking. Look in. Hey, look in there. Oh, they go, Brianna. They go one right there. Brianna, move. Oh, she got that one. Way up there. Oh my goodness. I remember this when I was a kid. Don't go past the gate. Don't go past the gate. Baby, this is a workout, baby. Okay. Don't go past the gate. And don't go past those bushes because that's our neighbors. Somebody sh just threw the shoe up there. I see one that has uh No, I swear. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> It fell out. Where? She got it. <laughs> that was smart thinking. Shake the bush. That was real smart. I'm not getting up. I'm not running over. What are you doing out of the tree? Someone's going to take your egg? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's pretty good. Right. <laughs> oh. Y'all better shake all the trees and bushes then. Shake, shake, shake. Is there any more out here? Yes. I don't know. There's 96. Yes. 90, 90, 90. 90. This ain't all the 96. Can you give us at least one more, more then? I see it. Can least you give us all? Are we getting hot or are we getting cold? <laughs> Did anyone? Oh, check the mailbox. <laughs> 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 That was good. <laughs> oh, my oh, I got it. Oh, my gosh. That's how it is. You don't need me to try team with us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would have never oh, yeah. thought about the mailbox. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought about the mailbox. I see how she be able to track you. Know, yeah, you know, we got that stuff. I feel a little old. I need to make it. All the way to the fence over on this side? Yes. Um, oh, oh, God. Oh, I got that. I got that. I collected those eggs. Somebody, somebody, shoe. Who's shoe out here? Oh, okay. Get your shoe, please. Look at God, look at God, he's making a way.